Hello, I'm Beth Ann Bovino, the Deputy Chief Economist at Standard & Poor's. The recent economic news presented markets with a mixed bag for which investors could take a number of ways. The BEA's advanced estimate for second quarter growth came in at a much better than expected 1.7% rate for the second quarter. The stronger than expected reading was helped by a surprisingly firm round of government spending and business inventory data. And we also saw a pickup in business investment activity and a stable, though slower, consumer spending in the second quarter. The BEA's advanced estimate makes a lot of assumptions on information that wasn't known at the time. The second quarter GDP estimate did not include the uplift from the June construction spending report. That release reported upward revisions for the prior two months, which add some upside support to overall GDP growth. In addition, the June trade report, which came out this week, also gives second quarter GDP growth a boost when the BEA revises its estimate. The U.S. trade deficit narrowed to a four-year low in June on both solid exports and a sizable drop in imports. That means that net exports will now contribute to second quarter GDP growth instead of taking away from growth, as the BEA's first estimate assumed. Second quarter GDP growth may come in even higher than our earlier July estimate of 2.1 percent after all. And last but not least, the other report making headlines is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which reported that just 162,000 jobs were created in July. Downward revisions the prior two months make the soft July jobs gains a bit worse. But given that the GDP growth in the first half of the year is rather modest, it's not surprising to see that the strong pace of monthly job gains reported earlier this year had slowed. One piece of good news came from the unemployment rate, which did drop because some people left the jobs market, but even more people landed jobs. So what's the takeaway? While it's nice to see that the economy is growing at a faster pace than markets feared, the stronger than expected second quarter growth rate came in at the expense of a sharp downward revisions to the first quarter growth. That adds some downside risk to our 2013 GDP growth forecast of 2%. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Beth Ambovino at Standard & Poor's.